Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial, another voiceover, and I am first starting off with Benefits Eye Bright, and I'm putting it under my brow bone and in my inner tear duct just to brighten up these areas. They'll really bring everything forward. And then I am taking NYX's Jumbo Pencil and Milk and placing that all over my lid and blending it out as my base to, again, highlight this area and bring it forward to cause more tension and make my crease look darker. To accentuate my crease even more, I'm taking the Naked Palette 2 by Urban Decay and going in with Tees on a 224 style brush. And then I'm going in with Foxy and placing it on the brow and blending it down. Dusting my fallout, I'm taking Urban Decay's 24-7 liner pencil and perversion and lining my top waterline and my bottom. You don't have to be super neat for this because we're really going to blend out around the eye with different colors. And I'm taking Max Vanilla, which is a pinky, nudie, white skin tone color. And then I'm taking the Foxy color again and going on top because it was a little too pink for my liking. And then I am taking a Jumbo Pencil by LA Colors, and I think in the it's a dark gray one, and I'm just lining the bottom of my eye and then the outer half of my upper lid. And I am taking a angled liner brush, and I am dipping it in the gray color, which I believe is called Pistol from the Naked 2, and going over what I drew on. This will set the color and make it a little bit darker because the LA pencils kind of have a tendency to fade or slide around. I'm also using this to bring in the color all the way towards my tear duct, keeping it thin, and then I'm going in with the Naked One palette in the color Gunmetal, which is a darker gray, and going on top of the pistol and making it a little darker towards the lash line. I'm going in with the Naked One color palette in Naked and going over my crease again going from the outer corner of my eye over instead of just defining the whole crease. I'm going in with the Balm's Schwing Liquid Liner and just putting it on right at my lash line. I am not making a winged liner and I'm keeping it very thin. Sorry my camera doesn't really focus well when I bring things up close. Um, I'm going to have to work on that. And I'm just taking a smudger brush and going in with Gunmetal and Creep from the Naked One Palette and just kind of going on the outer half of my eye where um, the liner is and putting it there to darken it and then taking a 217 and blending it going upwards to darken my crease. And I am taking Naked Cosmetics, the ivory stack in the gold color, mixing it with a little bit of Fix Plus. And I am going to put it on a big chubby pencil brush and really work it into and make my inner corner bright. Because the outer corner of your eye is a lot darker, this is really bright. So it won't make your eyes look too heavy. It'll really brighten up your whole face. But if this is too intense for you, you don't have to go as strong as I did, obviously. Now I am taking my Shu Amora Eyelash Curler and curling my lashes. And I am taking CoverGirl Lash Blush Fusion, Fusion in black and giving myself a few good coats of mascara to really build up the color. And I am just taking a blending brush to kind of blend out the inner corner now that the Fix Plus has kind of dried. And I am taking that same thing, but dry, not mixed, and just kind of dusting it on my brow bone to bring in more gold color to my brow bone. And adding more mascara because the mascara is really where you're going to get most of the intensity from this look. The liner does give you intensity, but the lashes make the biggest difference. I'm going in with Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, which is truly a jet black mascara. I love using these two mascaras together because they give me length and volume and darkness. Now I'm back and I took my hair down from the clip. It is curled and I'm going in with my favorite contour color by MAC in Sculpted, which is really great for your for your pale, for you pale girls. And I'm dusting it on my jawline, my cheekbones to hollow them out, as well as my temples to give my face more structure than it has. Because I'm going to fake it till I make it. 
and just contouring. I can make a separate video about contouring if you guys want. I do this on the daily. It's my favorite thing about makeup. It really changes the shape of your face. Now I'm going in with the Balm's Mary Lou Luminizer and I'm dusting this on the same brush on my um, tops of cheeks, down T-zone, inner corners of the eye just to add more gold. And then I am taking Max Dainty Blush on a just a basic blush brush and just putting it on my cheeks, not so much the apples of my cheeks because this color has a lot of shimmer in it as well. And I don't want to look like a disco ball. But if you do, go for it. And then I am taking Max Pincho Peach, which is a similar pink color. It's just not as shimmery, and I'm placing this more on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm taking the beauty powder from the Mel Monroe collection and placing it under my eyes and in that center section of my face and now your lips obviously um, I have lip balm on there yes I have lip balm on there already and I'm adding some more on it's the Jack Black lip balm which will truly give you the perfect pout and moisturize your lips now you can set your face right now and leave it as that if you have someone to kiss on Valentine's Day, but if you are like me and do not, you can continue. And I am taking the Natural Lip Liner from NYX, which is my favorite lip liner, and just going over, oh, hairs, <laughs> going over the outer rims of my lips and lining them. It's close to my lip color, just a slight bit darker and kind of just fill in your outer corners a little bit just to give you more volume and look like you have more of a pout. And then I'm going in with, just kidding, not blue lipstick. That would be funny. Um, I really need to edit this stuff out when I'm leaning over into my thing because it looks horrible. I'm going in with two colors. This is the first one. Um, well, not the first one. It's the first one I pulled out. I'm going in with Max Underage Lip Glass, which is the nude color. And then I'm going in with their um, Stepping At Dazzle Glass, which is a really pretty pink color because, you know, it is towards Valentine's Day. And it's really sticky. Obviously, if you want to kiss, leave this out and go natural. I hope you guys like this. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. And I will see you guys soon.